Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about decorating your home on a budget for fall. In this video you will learn lots of tips and tricks that I've learned along the way on how to save money and how to do things cost effective and decorating your home for the holidays. So let's get started. So the first item we have here is just some simple crates that I got at the store but the tip is, is on a budget, you can fill them for basically free. So at the very bottom, there's all the pine cones there. Those I just go out and to the forest and, and pick all different varieties. And when I'm traveling, I pick up pine cones. Anywhere I see them, I grab them and I use them all the time, all over the place. Then what I love to do is buy things on sale and when the season is over, I pick up all these pumpkins anywhere, usually at Walmart or you know your local stores that sell decor items. They usually clearance this stuff out and sometimes at Hobby Lobby even you can find this stuff 80-90% off. So you just gotta frequent your stores often after the holidays and just keep an eye out for the big huge sales and discounts. So this is the coffee bar and I just kind of embellished the shelves a little bit with a little touch of fall and I found these mugs. So it's just a hint of fall. I'm going to be switching to Halloween here after this video. So I thought it was cute, you know, just to incorporate. Now I found these at Beals in Sedona, Arizona, which is, um, I don't know if it's a discount store or not, but they were only $5 each. So I thought that was a good deal. Here's a placemat under the tray, and I just um, picked these up somewhere along the way, probably on sale. So I just use this as a little um, extra color. Moving on down here. So we've got these two buffet tables here that I've decorated. And this piece I found at Bed Bath & Beyond for $8. It was their clearance. They were closing a store, so I thought it was really cute. I got the green pumpkin for a dollar at the dollar store, and it's actually pretty good quality. It's like ceramic, actually. It's not even plastic. And these florals I just had in my stash of stuff, and there's a couple of acorns over here, and these acorns on top, and again, some pine cones and some leaves. So this is just a really easy and cost-effective decoration here for fall. This little guy I got at the Goodwill, and I shop the Goodwill frequently. There's always tons of awesome stuff there. And I just added the leaves for a little bit more of an embellishment. And that's another thing you can do is get things and then learn how to embellish. That is a very good skill to learn, and you can make something out of nothing. I just added another placemat here for some color, and again, just a little flower behind there. And then of course our candles. I got these at Michael's. They were $5 each on sale. So, and then, I don't know if you can see it, but I just added a jute string on top just to kind of give it a little bit of extra, um, of extra touch there. But see, that's the label. So I just turned the label to the back side so that, and you could even put like a fall leaf on there if you've got a Cricut or you can Mod Podge something on the front of there. I do that with my Halloween candles all the time. And then here's the cheered, tiered tray with my veggies and my apples that I picked off my apple tree yesterday. And I actually got these fun leaf plates at the Goodwill. And you just put them in your dishwasher, sanitize them, and they're good to go. And I just think they're so cute. This apple cider sign I got at the dollar store. And I actually left this clip open because I wanted to show you the mechanics. So you can just hang things on your wall with the command strips. Everybody pretty much knows what those are, but it's damage free to your wall. So you can really enhance your home for the holidays without having to put more holes in your wall or you can put things on your wall wherever you want. I would actually go ahead and embellish the sign a little bit more and maybe put a frame behind it or something like that. So I'm constantly always thinking of new ways to make these dollar store items look more upscale. This pumpkin patch sign I got again at probably Hobby Lobby, you know, 80% off last year, and it just sits on this shelf. I could actually hang it on the wall if I want to, but 
I'm actually going to move into Halloween here shortly, so I just chose to set it on the shelf. So for table decorating, uh, stay tuned for tablescape decorating for the holidays. I do Thanksgiving tablescapes. We're gonna do a really super fun witch tablescape that I'm going to be using for my witch's brunch. And I have a lot of good tips and tricks for decorating your table on a budget as well. This is a floral arrangement I just whipped together the other day. And these are some orange, actually I don't like how that stem's sticking down, but I didn't change it. And I just am doing a 360 here for this floral arrangement. But this was super uh, inexpensive as well because I did sort of a mix of things. So I got this stuff at Michael's in the spring section, believe it or not. So if you expand your color palette in your mind and you think outside the box, even that this was spring, it was 80% off. I was like, wow, I could totally use that for Halloween and fall. These berries were at the dollar store. So you kind of mix and um, get florals from all over the place. And these sunflowers were actually on sale last year for 80% off at, at home. And I had these pheasant feathers, or I don't know what these are, but there I had those on hand. And then I got some leaves at the dollar store and some amaranthus. All of this pretty much was anywhere from 50 to 80% off this, or at the dollar store. And then you just kind of mix and match. And then there's some wheat in there too, as well. And then the vase filler that you can um, get at the local wholesaler. If you've got a floral supply wholesaler near you, that's where I got that. Okay, moving on. So this is a cute little wagon or a, a wheelbarrow, I guess is what we would call it. I got this actually during Easter and I just knew I could translate it into fall. And then I have um, gathered up these apples at the Goodwill over a period of time. They sell them in little bags and I keep finding them. So now I have a whole wagon full that I um, think is so cute. Okay, and then let's see what else. Okay, you can't really see in the video here, but I've got these fairy lights, which are really super awesome at night. You can't really see during this video and I have lots of lights on, so you can't see them, but at night it just gives it a nice warm glow. You can get these at the dollar store and they're just battery operated. I have this, you know, hidden behind the book here. This is a nice way to display uh, at your local thrift stores, there's all kinds of books. And if you just kind of go through the books, you'll luck out and you'll find fun ones that you can display like this and just have a little um, easel for the book. And then these leaves, actually, I mod podged them. So I was visiting family in Wyoming and we went on a little scouring adventure and we found these leaves and so I liked the color palette and I tr tried to pick out a variety of different colors. So I've got the dark brown, I've got more of the red, a little bit of the yellow, and then I've got some green in here. So I kind of tried to color, uh, cover all the colors of fall and then we mod podged them and these have lasted for years. So they are still relatively fragile, but they, they last if you take care of them. So that's another tip. Baskets, you can always find the Goodwill and they are always handy in your decorating. And I just simply put a pumpkin in here. Same thing with this tin container. I pick up things at garage sales, anywhere I can find things. You really wanna think outside the box. And then I picked up these things, obviously, as I talked before, you know, on sale the, the uh, year before, so I'm using them this year. But I have filled this entire container in the bottom with pine cones, and then you just put your fruit and veggies on top. So this container appears to be full, but it's actually obviously not. And then you can find um, like these corn, those are at the dollar store too. So if you hunt around, you can find some pretty cool stuff. 
Same with this floral arrangement. I just put this together last minute. It's kind of a hobnodge, but uh, if you um, follow me, you'll be also getting the floral arranging videos and I'll show you how to put together floral arrangements really easy and how to change it out from season to season. So actually this, all the green, I had some pink flowers in there for spring. I just pulled those out and I put the orange, got these at the dollar store. I had these sunflowers on hand. You know, the great thing about floral arrangements that are artificial is they never die, obviously, and you can use things from year to year, so it's really helpful. Okay, this potpourri I made for free, basically, and I love doing the aromatherapy with the essential oils, and I add that in and it just smells so lovely with the autumn scents. But these are leaves I got at the dollar store. Pretty effective, you get a whole pack of them. These are apples that I dried off of our apple tree. I got some oranges from a friend, sliced them up and dried them. These are actually pods from one of the trees out in my yard. And then of course the pine cones again. So it's just kind of a variety of pods and fruit and pine cones and it makes a nice basket filler. One thing that you would consider is kids decor. So this fox my daughter actually made and I just thought it was so cute. She's really into foxes right now. We just got this at the dollar store and she painted it and it just goes perfectly with the other fall decor going on here. But it's so cute and it just symbolizes your kids artwork or grandkids artwork or anything. It's, I think it's just a nice touch to your holiday decor. Another basket there filled with stuff. And then don't be afraid to have parties with your friends and make crafty items. So this was a fun pumpkin that we made in our mom's club. And it's actually wine cork. And we just added some leaves and we decorated the front of the corks you can see on the back there. But, oh, we just had so much fun. And it's so simple, such an easy craft. Moving right along here, same thing. I just added some leaves and then the plate again and then this candle I got at the garage sale for like $2 or something. And then the green pumpkin I got at the dollar store. So don't be afraid to add in other color into your decorating. So fall doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, your typical brown, red, yellow, you know, add some green, add you know just a variety of different colors to your palette and and it makes it really beautiful over here this guy i got i just love him he's my favorite guy and i got him 80 percent off i was so excited he was literally like four dollars and he was just i love him he's so cute these pumpkins i found at the goodwill the other day and i thought they were a great find they're um they're pretty you know high-end pumpkins that you would find in a in a interior decorating store um, I also do interior decorating, so I have access to market, wholesale, you name it, I've got access to it. But you know, it's the thrill of the hunt that I love so much. And I think that it's so fun when you find things at a bargain. So for example, this is actually something I picked up at my wholesaler, this is a centerpiece. But I found this particular item at the Goodwill and I just filled it with the gourds and the pumpkins and the corn and the things in the um, that are representing fall. So if you be creative, you can really put a nice display together. Again, you know, picked up some baskets and gourds and pumpkins here on both sides, just like that. And then <laughs> our fridge is supposed to be in the garage until our new fridge arrives. However, you make do with what you have. And again, showcasing your kids' artwork is an awesome way to represent fall. And I just think it's so cute. This is when my daughter was in kindergarten. And I love bringing out the items that they make for the holidays year after year. You know, we just put them everywhere, all over the windows. And, you know, I just love seeing things that she's made throughout the years. And last but not least, way on top, this is actually candy dishes that I have. I use these for all holidays. And uh, this I actually filled with pine cones because to fill that with candy would be very expensive. So for this video, I was just showing you an alternative where you can take those free pine cones again 
and do your vase fillers with pine cones instead of candy. Over here, I've got the variety. And when we have our parties, I just bring the candy down and the kids you know, can enjoy it. Or if we're doing a baking video or, or baking treats for our friends, you know, you've got your candy dishes to pick your candy from. Now, if you don't use your candy, we use it from year to year and we um, get to use that because guess what? Candy corn never goes bad. <laughs> we found that out. Also, you could use your candy corn for a vase filler, which I do for Halloween, which is really, really fun. And then adding in your candles, as you can see, just really brings an ambiance to the whole entire look of your design. So I hope you learned something today. I hope you learned some tricks on decorating for fall on a budget. Stay tuned for tablescape decorating and also making your home spooktacular for the holidays and Halloween on a budget as well. All the way through Christmas, of course, we're not, we're not forgetting about the holidays. Running through Christmas, we're gonna have a lot of videos on Christmas on a budget, decorating your home for the holidays as well. Stay tuned and thank you so much for your time. Heather with ChristmasDesignInstitute.com where we teach classes and mentorship program with our online academy.